YouTube, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over how I reduce my injuries during a powerlifting prep. We're going to be going over how I actually specify my training as well as the additional supplements I take to reduce my injuries. Injuries. So we just got up. It's 10 o'clock before I eat before I drink before I do cardio before I do anything I go right to my mini fridge. I take two IU's of growth hormone right into my stomach fat I make a cup of water and then I go and do cardio now I like to stay fasted for the first hour of the day just to keep my blood sugars low. I've seen a lot of studies on growth hormone, and if you spike insulin right after taking growth hormone, it won't be as effective. And considering I only want to take two IUs a day, I do not want to lose those two IUs from drinking some branch chain amino acids or eating carbs right after I take that shot. The reason that I'm taking growth hormone is one, to keep my hair luscious, but the biggest reason is to help my skin. I've been doing two IUs for about seven months now, and in conjunction with everything else that I'm doing for my skin, I've been able to minimize my breakouts to an extreme extent. I feel better, I feel healthier, I feel more energized, and I just feel like a great person. I don't think that two IUs is really gonna gain me that much size, but my overall look, is much better. So we're gonna hop on cardio, we're gonna make some breakfast, and we're gonna get right into this video, so I hope you enjoy. And you're willing to do the work, and you're willing to take best meal of the day, breakfast. I don't get that many carbs throughout the day, so to have 50 grams of oatmeal in the morning, Mwah! is absolutely beautiful. I did forget though guys, the supplements I take in the morning is I just take a digestive enzyme, but for the recovery aspect, I like to take MSM, glucosamine, and a high quality fish oil. I take three grams of fish oil every morning, only made up of small water fish, so the mercury content is lower. Again, all three of those is just for joint health, um, just everything to do with lubricating and inflammation in the joints. And I haven't had any joint pains yet. <clears throat> I have run Winstrol and Mastron at the same time. And I just have just never had joint pain. So I feel with the growth hormone and all the supplements I take for joints, it is a very good mix. But the second, most important thing that I'm taking for recovery right now, I guess this isn't really for recovery, this is more for pre-existing injuries, but let's go to my office and I'll show you what it is. <clears throat> All right, so these are my pride and joy. TB500 and BPC157. Now I can show you guys on this YouTube channel because these are actually research peptides. Um, I do have a video that goes over exactly how they work, but I have a light shoulder tear and it's been probably three months that it hasn't been 100%. I went two months, I couldn't incline, I couldn't overhead, I couldn't do anything. I started taking these and I'm finally inclining again. I'm finally light overhead pressing. So these basically just help bring more red blood cells to the area, helps reduce the inflammation. BPC is body protection compound. Um, I'm not gonna get too in depth because a lot of you guys probably saw my other video. It'll be in the link in the description if you wanna check it out though. But these are 10 milligram vials and I actually helped formulate these. It's 98% pure, it's Canadian made, and it's just amazing. Um, I will not put my name behind something that I physically do not take or stand behind or have taken in the past. And these are available for research purposes on WWE www.themarkplumber.com. Obviously, you should not take these like I do. You should just do the research so you can see the purity. But remember, these are 10 milligram vials instead of two. So when you mix in water, I just put one cc of water in, and then I take 0.5 milligrams 
every day right into the injured area. I've used these for my slip disc when that was acting up. I've used this for my shoulder tear. When I tore my chest in Kearns and I injected it right into my chest, and I honestly feel that this is the key to healing any injury faster. So I take 0.5 milligrams every single day. And so <laughs> I can't show you that part, but that's what we're going to do now. I actually have an injection today and that's going to bring me into the second part of this. I want to make sure that people can do things the safest possible. And I know that YouTube does not really tailor to that side. So I have recently started a Patreon, but the Patreon is going to be completely different. This Patreon is purely going to be for things that cannot be talked about or showed on YouTube. For example, the first lesson that we are going to do is an injection, different injection techniques where I'm physically going to show you guys how to inject. Now I know this is going to be very beginner, but each lesson is going to get more in depth, more in depth, more in depth. We are just going to do a $20 subscription fee per month, but this is going to have one in depth lesson every single week. This is going to have one Q and a every single week. And this is going to come with a free training plan every single month, as well as a, if it fits your macros plan, just like a very general, I'm just going to set it up for it's like, if you're this way, these are your base macros. If you're this way, this is your base macros. And then if you have any questions about that, you can open it up in the Q and a. So I'm super stoked to be able to offer this service because I feel a lot of people don't even know that you can kind of like mix two different compounds in to the same needle and inject it at the same time but I can't show you guys that because I will get canceled off YouTube so if you guys want to subscribe to that it is going to be starting on April 1st that is gonna be our first lesson and link is right in the bio so make sure to check that out so we're gonna take these shots do my injection we're gonna shower up do some work to drop off all the orders from the Mark Plummer. Thank you guys so much for the support on the website. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. And then I'm going to see you guys for deadlift day in the gym where we're going to keep this shit going. So let's go. All right. Hey, yo guys. So we just got to the gym and we are going to deadlift today, but well, we're going to deadlift and we're going to train back. But my slip disc has been acting up quite some time and we're going to do some like speed deadlift work, but the way that I program like all my lifts is that because I'm up into like the seven, 800 pound deadlifts, obviously you can't do like a deadlift and a squat in the same week. So I pick one week to do heavy squats and then I do speed work for deadlifts. And then the opposite week I choose uh, the opposite. So if I did speed work for deadlifts, then I'll do heavy deadlifts the next week. And then I do bench, I progressively work up all the way. So because we squatted quite heavy last week, I didn't get it on video, so it doesn't count. We're gonna do some speed work today. So I think we're just gonna do like five sets of three reps with like 525. Make sure my form's good, make sure everything's thick, tight, solid, juicy. I'm gonna be wearing straps today because like my hand is still messed up from that last deadlift session we did. Um, so I'm just gonna set up the camera. You guys can kind of like watch my form and see how I personally do speed work and get ready for it. And uh, I'll see if I can film some accessories and we'll just keep it going. because we just put it under so much pressure. So we're gonna do some lat pull downs. Then we're gonna go right into hyper extensions, like the best thing you can do for a slip disc. Then we're gonna do one more row, some pull ups, and then we're getting our ass home. And uh, man, it feels good to be back. It feels good that I'm coming for that all time world record. it 
took me like half an hour to get home because the roads are so bad. But guys, we just got home from the gym and let me just set this camera down. We made ourselves a post-workout shake and when I got into the car, my back completely seized to the point that like I couldn't move. Like I was cramping and I had to like open the door, get out, stand up and like stand there for 10 minutes. And even right now, I can barely move forward. Now I already am dealing with this sciatic pain, but this was completely different than the irony of hurting my back on the recovery day protocol video is absolutely just hilarious, but I know that it's not gonna last long. I didn't drink a lot of fluids today and I just think it's just an imbalance in one, my hormones. As you can see, I'm actually breaking out a little bit because I just started my cycle like four days ago. So my hormones are trying to balance themselves out again and just nutrients in, nutrients out, my electrolytes, everything is just trying to balance itself. So I'm not too concerned with this. I know I'm just gonna put some heat on it and everything's gonna be okay. But with that said, I wanna wrap this video up here because I don't wanna make this too long. Now, recovery can go as far as you need it to be and as little as you want it to be. You just kinda need to fine tune exactly what's good for you. For example, before I could afford growth hormone, I took 10 milligrams of MK677 every single day. You can find that on www.themarkplumber.com, the exact same one I took, and that's what I did year round, but that held fluid in my joints, in my body, so I just felt better, I felt stronger, but as I've been getting to a higher level, I need to be able to manipulate my weight more than MK would let me, which is why I moved to growth hormone. The same goes for anabolic steroids as well, guys. You can use specific cycles to your advantage if you are in injury. For example, something like DECA will hold tons of water retention. Something like D-Ball will hold tons of water retention. It holds water retention on your body, but it also holds fluid in your joints. So if you are experiencing a lot of joint pain or you can't squat because your knees hurt, I would highly suggest using something like this in your off-season cycle so you can get back to the motions that will build you the most amount of mass. And from my personal experience, experience, which remember guys, doesn't have to be right. Every single time I've taken something to help me get through an injury, when I stopped taking it, that injury was no longer there because I was able to heal that area, get more blood to that area and just <clears throat> and just make sure all the muscles surrounding that area were stronger. So you can tailor everything, your training, your protocol, your supplementation directly to your injuries. And what everyone always says, but us kids don't understand is, it's not how fast you can get there. We all have a window between like 18 and probably 32 to do this at a high level. So don't rush it from 18 to 22 to 23. And then by the time you're 24, 25, you're out of the game. That's why I'm taking things a lot slower right now. I'm implementing all the things I showed you today every single day. I'm gonna drink my post-workout, I'm gonna take a super hot shower and or bath, and then I'm gonna lay down a yoga mat and I'm gonna do 30 minutes of stretching, mobility, and recovery. Because moving forward, that is what has to be your priority. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to drop it in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and liked this video, make sure you go ahead and do that. And like I said, guys, the Patreon is going live on April 1st, but you can subscribe right now. It's the second link in the description. I hope to see you there and we can talk one-on-one -on -one and we can really get things going deep, down, and personal. So have a great day and I'll see you next video.